What's up you guys, Eddie of Fliptronics. We'll be doing a review on the OtterBox Defender Series for the iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus. I'm going to have some links in the description if you guys want to check this one out on Amazon. And I do want to say this case comes in some of the best packaging I have ever seen. Alright, so before I take it out, uh, I do want to just mention some of the different colors this case comes in. And I also kind of want to give you guys... You know, the price range for it is going to be anywhere from like 35 to 60 bucks. So that's kind of what you could expect to pay for this case. All right, so some of the colors are uh, black. You've got aqua. There's a purple color. There's like a indigo blue. Um, you've got kind of like a beige-ish blue. Uh, and then, you know, there's a couple other colors. So you have color options basically is what I'm getting at here. Um, I chose to go with black. I just think the Defender series looks really nice in black. So... You know, that's why I went with it. All right, so I do want to take it out of the packaging so we can, uh, you know, put this case on this 8 Plus. Kind of excited to do that. All right, so let's get it out. All right, so a cool thing about the Defender series is that it comes with a, uh, a clip-on right here. This is, uh, you know, for putting on, like, you know, a pair of pants or something, so it's just, like, a nice belt clip. Um, another nice thing you can use it for is, like, a stand. You can actually, you know, kind of use this as, like, a phone stand if you want to have your phone tilted a certain way, so that's cool. Anyways, if you're not going to use it, it's still a cool add-on piece. All right, so let's get a look at the actual case. Now, the thing I love about OtterBox cases is that they have the Apple logo cut out here, which is really cool. Um, I do want to mention on the uh, 8 Plus and the 8 um, that the uh, hole with the logo on the Apple on the iPhone does not match up perfectly, but it's still, you know, relatively like right around there. All right, so this has a built-in screen protector. Now, when I've used these kind of cases in the past, I've never had any issues with uh, like Touch ID or the fingerprint or anything. But um, anyways, we got to get this uh, case taken apart. Um, so let's get that taken care of. So anyways, you kind of have to pry this top part off like this. And then once you take the, uh, you know, silicone material off this case, you know, you just have to open up the uh, hard shell. So it's essentially a three-piece case. You know, I found the best way to uh, get these cases open is to just kind of go from the bottom and pry it open. Um, that's usually how I've done it in the past. So let's just see if I can get it. All right, there we go. All right, so yeah, going from the bottom is definitely the way to go. All right, so let's get this 8 Plus in here. All right, cool. All right, snapping it back on is pretty straightforward, so let's get this back on. And then I'll test out some of the buttons, and we'll do kind of like a little drop test on this thing. Uh, this case weighs about five ounces, so it is a little bit heavier. Um, with that, you know, extra weight, though, you're going to get one of the best protection cases out there. That's why this case is so popular. I mean, it really does give some of the best protection. Okay, so anyways, um, so here's the Apple logo. Like I said, it is not It is a little bit off-centered on these new phones. So, I mean, it's not terrible, but it's definitely something I need to point out. All right, so you kind of just got to maneuver this thing on, and you're pretty much good to go. All right, let's check out, you know, touching some of the buttons on here. Let's get this back forward. All right, so, all right, you guys can see the uh, touch screen has no issues. We're, you know, kind of moving along here. Good. Home button works. All right, so as far as, like, button control, buttons are all good with this case. No issues whatsoever. Let's take a look at the back. So we got the, uh, you know, the camera hole right here. I mean, everything's looking, I mean, this case looks really slick, you know, no doubt about it. Um, you know, like I said, I just think the Defender definitely looks really good in the black, but, you know, there are other color options out there available. All right, so we'll do a little drop test from, uh, you know, where we're at right now. It's not going to be too high, but, all right, so let's do another one. You know, the nice thing about this case, too, is that with that built-in screen protector, you definitely get some really good front-facing protection. I mean, this is going to help any kind of, like, minor drops. I've never tried dropping this off, like, a 10 or 15 or 20-story building before, you know, with an iPhone in this case. But, you know, I know this is going to definitely get the job done. So it's got complete coverage from every side. This is a very grippy case, too. Even though it's a little bit heavier, it's still easy to take in and out of your pocket. Um, and it's definitely going to protect you from just about any kind of drop, scratches, cracks, all that stuff. I mean, this is going to keep your iPhone in super, super good condition. So with that extra weight, you get some of the best protection. Um, this case does look really slick. I mean, I love the sleek look of the Defender series. Uh, for those of you that might want to use this, um, you know, the clip right here. This thing works really well. Like I said, it's not something that I use personally, but it is cool. And you can also use it as like a kind of like a phone stand. So, I mean, that's, uh, you know, just another added benefit to it. Okay. So anyways, you guys, 
I'm gonna wrap it up there. Um, there's a lot of benefits to using in this case. Protection's obviously one. It's got some good style, and this is like the prize pony you know, this is like the, the top-notch, high-end OtterBox case you can get. So, you know, I definitely think it's a big win. All right, so I'll have links in the description if you guys want to check this one out on Amazon. You've got about eight different colors you can get on this case. And then, uh, you know, the price point's going to be anywhere from like 35 to 60 bucks, depending who on who's selling it and then the color available for it. So, anyways, if you guys could also hit that like and share button below, I'd definitely appreciate it. Always, you guys, thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more and be sure to subscribe to our channel.